I've made Notion videos that are 10 minutes long, 30 minutes long, and some that are even upwards of one hour long. But in today's video, I'm going to simply explain Notion in less than five minutes. Let's get into it. This is my Notion home screen. It's made up of a database, which you're looking at right here, as well as some pages. I'm going to create a new page and we're just gonna call this Notion Explained. Really guys, it does just come down to pages and databases. That's all that Notion is. So if I hit slash and type page, hit enter, you'll see that that creates a new page. So new page. And within this page, I could create another new page by hitting slash typing page and creating a page. So you can create infinite pages within pages using Notion. And as you can see at the top here, I've got the breadcrumbs to trace them back. Now, pages aren't the only thing that you can create in Notion. There's lots of other ways that you can actually type in these pages and add plenty of interesting blocks to these pages. So if you hit the slash button, you can see all of the block types that they have to offer. And most of them are pretty straightforward, like this to-do list here, right? It's just a basic to-do. And it just enhances the page, essentially. Everything in this area will just make the page more useful. There's tons of different things in here that you can add to your page, but most of them are just visual, right? Like headings, here's a heading three. And there's also normal tables that aren't considered databases. So I could simply add some columns right here and I could add some rows and I could fill this out however I want it to. You can tab and you can arrow between these. I've made longer videos going in depth on all of these block types. The next most important piece of Notion that you wanna focus on outside of pages is databases. So a page can be a database or a page can contain a database. If you wanna turn a page into a database, you have to do it when you first create the page. You'll be presented with these options here and you can hit table, board, list, calendar, gallery, or timeline. And whichever one you choose is going to be the type of database that you start with, but that doesn't mean you're stuck with it. These are just different ways to view your data. Okay, so if I click table to start, I can hit add view up here and I can turn it into a board if I wanted to and then hit create. And now it's a board, but I can switch back to my table view. So these are just different ways of looking at data. And there is some mandatory data that's required within this table. Okay, it's this first column here. You can delete these other columns, but you can't delete this first column. It will be here no matter what. And this is usually the name of whatever it is that you're putting into this table. So for instance, if I was creating a database about books, I would call this books. And each time that I typed a book name into here, it would create a page out of that. Okay, so we talked about pages earlier, right? If you open one, you can add information in here through blocks, right? You can add text, headings, you could create notes, you could create lists, you could create to-do lists, you could even add tables within this page as well. So if I type inline, I could add another database within it. Okay, so this can go infinitely deep. You can have as many databases and tables as you want. But when it comes to this database here, you can also add properties. So each of these columns that you add comes in the form of a property. And you can choose between these properties here. There's basic properties, and then there's also some advanced properties here. There's relations and rollups, which allow you to connect two databases together that you've created in the past. And there's also these basic ones that just add information to the specific page. So I could create a select, for instance. We could call this select and then we could add some information like we could write what type of book this is and then if i open up this page now it has that special property so this has been notion explained in less than five minutes i hope that it's helped you understand a little bit better what notion is all about it's really quite simple there are databases and there's different ways of viewing those databases and within the databases there are pages but the pages don't necessarily have to be within a database they can also survive independently on Notion. So there's lots of cool things that you can create. And if you want to learn more and you want to get more of an in-depth understanding, check out my full Notion playlist. I'll leave a link to it right here. Thanks for watching.